Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury on an Emirates 777. I'm just talking watches and uh, drinking coffee. Talking watches and drinking coffee. In business class on Emirates. Hi guys, on my recent tour to uh, Singapore, I managed to meet up with a fan who's a huge Patek collector. He loves his Patek. And uh, last time I met him, he had a 5970, which he told me he'd actually um, got rid of. He thought it was a bit big. And what he'd replaced it with was um, another amazing piece. Have a look at this here. This is what he replaced it with, a perpetual calendar. Uh, his one, I believe, was in platinum. Platinum, yes. It's the 5327. Uh, he also got it with the blue dial. Did he get a... Jesus, that's a good question. I can't remember if it was platinum. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it's a Patek Perpetual Calendar. And uh, he actually got it at the saloon, the saloon in Geneva, which the saloon is the the factory owned, the manufacturer owned store. So he, he told me he he flew over there to pick the watch up and uh, he had a very, very good time there. Uh, he's a huge lover of Patek Philippe. And um, yeah, it's an amazing watch. Uh, it uses the same movement as my world time with the rooted rotor, the two for zero movement. And uh, I've shot some video, so let, let's let's have a look at this video of this magnificent perpetual calendar. Perpetual calendar. What does that mean? That means this watch not only knows how many days are in the month, but it also knows for February when we can have. Uh, a different number depending on a leap year or a non-leap year. And uh, this is a very, very uh, highly, highly complicated complication. I actually have my Patek calendar watch is an annual calendar, which needs to be set called an annual because you need to annually set it in February. This is if of course, the proviso being as long as you've you've kept it wound. So it knows 30 and 31 days of the month. But the perpetual is the next level of craziness. And perpetuals tend to be double the price of an annual. So let's take a look. Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Well, the sunburst is really nice. It is amazing. Yeah. You and see the you see the case is scalloped on the side. Oh, I see yeah. scalloped side. Yeah. Wow. Very nice, right? I mean, on the website when you look at it, you just think it looks a bit strange right? because um, I don't know. It's more dial than bezel, right? It's like a yes. really tiny bezel, but when you see it in person, it's really really nice. It's amazing. So, what year is this here? What year? Is it's it? current, current, it's current. current. Yeah, yeah. It came current. Out, I think two years ago. That's all. And how many, how many Patek you have now? Oh. Um. Currently. Yes. Six. 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 Yeah. What you have? Tell me what you have. Why are you speaking to me in a pidgin? English. What do you have? <laughs> what do you have? Tell me, tell me what you have. What you have, my friend. <laughs> so this most beautiful Patek Philippe, it features the 240 movement. Now, this is the same movement that uh, featured in the 3940 Perpetual Calendar. And it's also the movement that features in my Patek Philippe 5110 World Time. So this movement itself there is Patek's automatic, compact, slim movement. And uh, that micro rotor really packs a lot of punch. 
Patek Philippe itself there reserves this movement for Patek's better regarded higher end pieces. And you can tell this by the fact that it has the deployant buckle. That's right, Patek normally uses this buckle here for their really obscenely priced pieces as opposed to just very expensive, expensive pieces. This piece here is absolutely stunning. And I've got to tell you, if you are a Patek Philippe lover, you would understand why fans have gone crazy for perpetual calendars. Perpetual calendars go a long way back. And the way Patek has introduced this starburst style, Breguet numerals, scalloped sides in a precious metal like white gold is absolutely outstanding. I love my Patek Philippe. And um, I've got to be completely frank and honest with you. I did offer this young man a kidney, a small finger, and a small toe in exchange for this Patek Philippe. Unfortunately, he wasn't in a buying mood. But uh, looking at this Patek Philippe here, you can see what the hype is about. This is one of the greatest watch bands of all time. This piece here is part of the new Grand Complications collection. And I must say myself, the 39mm case is extraordinarily well executed. It has quick release pins. Everything um, wonderful in watchmaking is on this Patek Philippe. The Grand Classique, the gold rotor, the micro rotor. This movement came out in 1977. It was Patek's answer to the ghastly quartz crisis. Patek pushed through with this movement, and you can see that it still echoes to this day in grand complications like this perpetual calendar. Patek Philippe, one of the greatest watch brands of the all encompassing watch community and watch world. Patek Philippe definitely earns its place in the Holy Trinity. If you want to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, tell your friends, and don't be afraid to put some nasty negative comments down below. Patek Philippe, one of the greatest wristwatch brands of all time and one of the greatest luxury goods a man or woman can ever own in a lifetime. I'm Paul Pluter. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys, it's Paul Pluter. And today, guys, I would like to talk about a new sponsor, which I'm very proud to have on board. This is the Fur Boutique of Germany. That's correct. And, you know, before you start getting really crazy with the animal livers and all these crazy left-wing communists out there, I want to say to you, furs have been used by man for hundreds of years for warmth and for to show luxury and superiority. And I'm very proud to hook up with Fur Boutique of Germany. That's correct. These people here no quality fur. In fact, I'm going to be ordering a fur fur coat very, very soon for one of my lady friends. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. So this is fur. Um, i got to be honest with you. This is recycling at its greatest. This is a, um, it's a, it's a fur. They're selling quality furs in Germany. These are on the pre-owned market this uh this is this is this is this is like the watches the rolex watches i'm saying buy pre-owned pre-owned no different with luxury fur luxury fur i highly recommend it uh this company here uh they ship fur boutique germany they ship via dhl premium uh, they are quality sellers they have over 500 fur coats in stock uh, large quantities, good quality. This is a chance to live the dream. 
Come on, guys. We know. In the 70s, you know, all these animal livers and fuckers, they, they all went nuts. But these fucking little rodents, you, you, you befriend these rodents, they bite you. They bite you. So wouldn't it be nice to make these little fuckers into a fur coat? So i got to be honest with you. I totally support fur. I totally support fur. I totally support it. And if you raise the furs in a humane, raise these animals in a humane environment, and then you turn them into coats, well, who am I to say anything wrong with that? We eat meat, we eat cow, don't we? We eat cow. I'm a meat eater. I'm not a lesbian, left-wing vegetarian. No, I need my protein. I'm very proud to be associated with Fur Boutique Germany, and I stand behind their full range of stock. Thank you. Click on the link down below to visit their store. Oh. Hey, Archie Luxury fans. If you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. <laughs>